Hello everyone, I'm Grizzly, this is VEDA Day 6. Today I'm gonna remember the 2009 Abruzzi quake, which was a massive earthquake that hit on April the 6th, 2009, in the northern part of Italy, in Abruzzi region, mostly, and part of the Lazio region. It was terrifying, it was one of the darkest moments of the Italian history. More than 300 persons lose their lives, Moreover, there was a lot of damages to historically important monuments and buildings and involved the rescue operations from the entire Italy. Now, before I continue, I have to apologize with all of you because when I started this experience I decided to realize short one-take vlogs. I'm gonna try and do my best to keep this vlog one take, but I don't think this vlog is gonna be short. However, let's go over. As you might know, I'm a civil defense rescue volunteer. I'm often involved in rescue operations, uh, smaller to medium, like, uh, I don't know, uh, in summertime there are branch fires, uh, sometimes during the winter there are water floods. Uh, and uh, I participate uh, with a um, charity organization, a civil defense Italian organization. Uh, we are all volunteers and uh, we were involved in this quake. Now, a short premise. In uh, 2009, in February 2009, we, our organization, received a uh, um, very big uh, uh, camp kitchen trailer and I mean really a very big trailer. I have some images of this uh, camp kitchen. I will leave a, a video link in the doobly-doo and the card in a moment when we just cleaned up this kitchen. It is pretty functional however. Well, we received this kitchen in February 2009, I believe at, um, around the end of February, like 21st or 22nd of February as a result of our best effort in charity and in civil defense um, with the help of the Sicilian region, especially because this uh, massive kitchen costed uh, an amazing 300,000 euro around both the kitchen and the, um, the tractor. And we were going to celebrate the receival of this kitchen, uh, we thought to celebrate, to have a very big party with all the city, with all the civilians, with all the citizens. Um, on April the 25th, which is the Liberation Day, is a public Italian holiday. So we were just preparing uh, for this. Then, during the night between 5th and 6th of April 2009, around a month after we received that kitchen, this massive earthquake hit that area of the northern Italy. And in basically immediately, all the efforts for rescue departed from the entire Italy. We were involved too, obviously. Um, consider this, in April 2009, there were only three kitchens uh, like the one I'm talking about. There were one in Rome, there were another one in, I don't remember if Milan or Turin, however, in the northern Italy, and the third one was our kitchen. So, uh, immediately the National Civil Defense, the Italian Civil Defense, asked for our kitchen and for our personnel to come to uh, give help. And uh, our team immediately organized that we have the, um, the first uh, column of help that departed from Sicily the same afternoon of the April uh, the 6th. I believe they started around 6 p.m., all the Sicilian part of the civil defense. And they basically traveled the whole night on the roads because there weren't exactly no idea on uh, how to reach Abruzzi and we're talking of um, a travel, a trip that is about 1,000 kilometers, a little less than 1,000 kilometers, um, around I believe 700 miles for American friends. 
um, they traveled the whole night with um, the kitchen, with uh, instruments, with tents, with uh, everything that was uh, useful to prepare an emergency camp. Because, uh, as you might imagine, uh, when there is an earthquake, um, you know, think, okay, we have to find for survivors, we have to search trouble for survivors. Yes, indeed, uh, this is important, but it's important also to take care of survivors, take care of people that isn't injured, and take care, somehow, of the rescue personnel. For example, a uh, camp kitchen not only will give meals to uh, the population, to the civilians, but will also prepare meals for the personnel, for firefighters, for civil defense operators, and so on. So, that kitchen arrived in L'Aquila on April the 7th, the um, next day, basically, and uh, it was put on, uh, on a little town called Tornimparte, around 12 kilometers out of L'Aquila, um, seven or eight miles uh, for American friends. And um, basically that uh, camp kitchen stayed there for um, around four months. In the beginning there were especially uh, not only a problem about the fact that there were people in tents because there were a lot of building collapse or uh, by the way damages so there were a lot of people without a house but also there were a lot of people that uh, although they had a house in good shape or in good conditions or pretty non-damaged uh, the first thing that happened shortly after the earthquake was the complete shutdown of the methane gas network. As you may imagine, in case of an earthquake, you cannot just leave the methane gas open and search for leaks watching where it explodes. So, a lot of houses which were uh, with uh, only gas stoves were houses of persons that were, uh, weren't able to cook. Uh, there are, were a lot of people with also methane furnace, so they weren't able to heat their houses, they weren't able to have warm water, to have a shower, simply. Uh, maybe you have a house in perfect shape, in perfect good shape, but there is no methane gas, there is no citizen's gas, so you don't have the ability to wash yourself, there was troubles with the water, and there is no warm water, uh, there is no gas so you can't cook. So we had all these problems to uh, deal with. And um, this went on for around four months until uh, August the 7th, if I don't remember wrong, when finally the situation in the area was um, mm, static, was uh, finally okay, there, wasn't, uh, there weren't no more tents, there weren't no more big troubles, um, the methane gas was restored area by area and uh, all um, was slowly uh, turning back to work, so the camp was closed in August. And it was a pretty overwhelming experience for a lot of reasons. It was an experience uh, which made Italians uh, uh, feel um, much more nearest one another. Uh, it was uh, an experience where a lot of people were involved in rescue. I by myself went uh, three times um, for a total of 30 days, uh, 10 days, 10 days, 10 days to um, make my shift there and basically uh, since I'm, um, I'm a professionalist, since I work uh, by my own, I had to shut off my office for 30 days, for 10 days at a shift because there is no one uh, else that could uh, leave my office open. Although this, um, all of my customers that were um, somehow involved or anyway worried by the situation, they didn't give any problem to me. Uh, I received a couple of calls when I was there. It was like, oh, okay, I've got a problem with my computer. I'm sorry, at this moment I'm in a brute suit with the civil defense. Okay, my computer just will wait. Don't go ahead and we, um, I'll phone you when you get back to Syracuse, don't worry. So, that was one of the biggest experiences with an emergency and was one of the 
biggest experience with an earthquake that I had uh, in uh, 2009. After the massive earthquake that uh, happened, there were a lot of um, other uh, movements uh, during the day. There were moments that uh, I remember, for example, uh, after the kitchen shift uh, around uh, 3 p.m., it was like, okay, we have to begin the shift for dinner at 4, so we have around an hour. I usually sat down, take a cigarette, and uh, mostly it was like uh, following the ashtray that was uh, trying to escape for the vibrations. Yes, it was a tough experience, but it was, I believe, an important experience for me to... Um, um, an experience I would repeat, and um, some I hope not to repeat because I hope uh, there is no need for this kind of experience. But um, that's it, I would like to share this with all of you. What about you? Do you have any kind of experience you made in the past about charity? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, let me know also if you're participating in VEDA like me. Okay, I'm Grizzly, this was day 6, uh, as always, thanks uh, for strolling around, thanks for watching, and I'll see you with my next vlog tomorrow. Bye!